page 10 in your packet, this is rationals, adding and subtracting, um, day three. So representing differences of rational numbers on a number line, rewrite the difference of 1 minus 2 and 1 fourth as 1 plus negative 2 and 1 fourth. So add the opposite. Now follow these steps to represent the sum. Place the tail of the arrow on 1. So 1 is the same thing, and you can see that I numbered the number line as fourths because of this negative 2 and 1 fourth. So go ahead and number your number line. Um, you're going to want to put 0 a little bit off center. Maybe it's exactly in the center. 0 is in the center. And I have them labeled as fourths. So going to 1, always start at 0 and go over to 1. 1 is 4 fourths. Right? This is the same as 1. And add to it a negative 2 and 1 fourth. So that's left. So you're going to go to the left two holes. So there's one hole back to 0. That's another hole because this is negative 1. And then one more fourth. And my answer is negative 5 fourths. So 1 plus negative 2 and 1 fourth is the, same, is the answer, negative 5 fourths, which is negative 1 and 1 fourth. So we could model our mixed number rational adding and subtracting on number lines. We could do this. Find the following difference and represent it on a number line. So always the first question you should ask yourself, is this an adding? Or a subtracting. This is a subtraction question. So I'm going to change it to add the opposite. Keep add up. So modeling this on the number line, negative 5 and 1 half. Starting at 0, negative 5 and oh, that's about a half. And adding to it a positive 8. Well, getting right back to 0 is 5 and a half. So then going to 1 would be 6 and a half. Going to 2 would be 7 and a half. Plus another half, that would give me 8. So my answer is right here at positive 2 and a half. This answer is positive 2 and 1 half, modeled on number 1. Find the following sums and differences without using the number line, and then you can use the number line to check. Okay, negative 6 plus 5 and 1 fourth. Well, negative 6 could also be written as negative 5 and 4 fourths. I could write it like that. Mm -hmm. Negative 5 plus 1 more, 4 fourths is negative 6. Negative 6 and five, uh, plus positive 5 and 1 fourth. It's an adding question. And they have different signs. So I am going to subtract. Since they have different signs. So 4 fourths take away 1 fourth is 3 fourths. And negative 5 adding to positive 5, I'm going to get 0. Or 5 take away 5 will give me 0. So the answer is negative is the sign of the larger absolute value, which is the negative 6. It is negative 3 fourths. If I modeled this, it would look something like this. Negative 6. And adding positive 5 and a quarter. So 5 would take me back to 1, and a quarter would get me about right there, and this would equal negative 3 fourths. So I am modeling it on the number line as well. Uh, letter B. Letter B has decimals. Is it an adding or subtracting problem? It's subtracting. Change it to adding the opposite. So it's the whole number 7, and no tenths, and you're adding 9 tenths, changing it to add the opposite. 7 and adding 9 tenths would give me 7 and 9 tenths. So with decimals, we have to line up decimal points. To show that on the number line, I would go, and here it is in blue, over to 7 and add another 9 tenths. It's almost 1, so adding a little tiny bit more, but not quite getting to 8 would be 7 and 9 tenths. Letter C. 2 and a half plus a negative 
half. Well, two and a half plus a negative half. This is a negative half. It's an adding question. Different sign, subtract. So I'm going to change this negative one half into negative five tenths. Negative five tenths and negative one half, right? Negative five tenths. If I reduce it, it is negative one half. So I'm going to change them both to decimal format. Different sign, subtract. So two and a half minus a half gives me whole number two. Okay, so two and a half. Subtracting a half gets me back here to two, which is the answer that I have there for C. Um, letter D. Negative one fourth plus a fourth. Different sign subtract. So negative one fourth plus four. I could change it to three and four fourths. Why four fourths? Because this is one negative one fourth. So different sign subtract. Four fourths take away one fourth gives me three fourths, and three take away nothing in front of this uh, one, negative one fourth is really a zero. Three take away zero would be three. Yes, four minus a fourth. That's another way I could rewrite this problem this way, or I could rewrite it like this. Four take away a fourth is the same thing as three and three fourths. Um, and yes, I could model this one. Negative one fourth plus four. So negative one fourth. Very. Oops, that might even be a little, little too long. Negative one fourth, very tiny, plus four. So go one, two, three, four. All right. So I would get negative. I would get positive. Oops. Oh, I went to negative one. Silly me. All right. Negative one fourth would be right here, and then turning around. Three and three fourths would be right there. So going one, two, three, and three fourths. So I get negative, I get positive three and three fourths. That's a little bit less. So letter, letter E, one half minus negative three. It's a subtraction problem. Change it to Add the opposite. So now it's three plus a half. Well, that's three plus a half. Three plus a half. Three plus a half is the mixed number. Three and a half. Done. On to the next page. Practicing more with decimals. And you can see, yes, this is related to your textbook. We've been in chapter two, section five. Now we're in section six operations with decimals. So here's a couple examples already done for you. Negative 5 and 21 hundredths plus 2 and 49 hundredths. Well, you're going to take the larger absolute value, which is the negative 5 and 21 hundredths, and subtract from it. And yes, you have to line up the decimal points, so they don't show that here. 5 and 21 hundredths would be on the top because it's larger absolute value. It's adding different signs, subtract. So you're really going to subtract here and keep the sign of a larger absolute value. So one take away nine can't do it. So I'm going to have to borrow. Eleven take away nine, I have two. Eleven take away four, I have seven. Seven bring down my decimal point. Seventy-two hundredths. Four take away two is two. And yes, it's negative two and seventy-two hundredths. Letter B. Negative 2 and 34 hundredths minus 6 and 21 hundredths. So notice, rewrite as adding the opposite. Negative 2 and 34 hundredths plus add the opposite. Negative 6 and 21 hundredths. Same signs, add and keep. So 2 and 34 hundredths and 6 and 21 hundredths. Lining up my decimal points and my place values. 4 plus 1 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, 
2 and 6 is 8. So you get 8 and, and keep the sign of the original problem, same sign that, and keep negative 8 and 55 on graphs. So we're going to do these three together. Um, and then in class, we're going to work some more on decimals. This is an adding problem. Number one is adding. Don't change adding. Different signs subtract. Larger absolute value has to go on the top. So I am going to subtract these. 13 take away 5 is 8. 10 take away 3 is 7. 5 take away 2 is 3. And keep the sign of the larger absolute value. So it's negative 3 and 78 on the graph. Number two, it's an adding question. Don't change adding. So different signs subtract. Five and two tenths. And I'm going to subtract three and fifty-three hundredths. So you can give yourself no hundredths on that two tenths. But you can't do zero take away three, so we're going to borrow. Ten take away three is seven. Eleven take away five is six. Four take away three is one. Take the sign of the larger absolute value, which is the 5 and 2 tenths. So the answer is positive 1 and 67 hundredths. And the last one, it's a subtraction problem. Keep negative 2 and 5 hundredths. Add the opposite, negative 3 and 6 tenths. Same signs, add and keep. So they have the same sign. So we're going to add these. 2 and 5 hundredths, and 3 and 6 tenths. I can give myself no hundredths there. I get 65 hundredths. 5 and 65 hundredths, same sign that and keep. So it's negative 5 and 65 hundredths. So that's it for today. We'll practice more of this in class.